Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming. So today I wanted to talk about how much money smaller YouTubers make, smaller gaming YouTubers. Because gaming is quite saturated and a lot of people are making content on gaming. It's easier to you know record and live stream stuff these days. So it is quite competitive and I wanted to give you an idea of what someone like my size, 29,000 subscribers, can expect. Now there has been a bit of a change on my channel. I decided to move away from what I was doing which was focusing on free games. So things are a little slower right now. I haven't been making as many videos. And when I was making the free game videos, they were usually shorter videos, one minute videos. This game is free here, this game is free there, etc. And I also made a change where I moved the sales videos onto the second channel. So things have been a little different and I think this is a good, uh, good time to see this. Now the reason I did this around this time was I was kind of fed up of this. And also, things are usually quieter for the free stuff around this time. Things should start picking up in like late November, December. But July, August tends to be quieter after the Steam set. So here we have the data for October. Now remember, this is until the 30th of October. Uh, the data for the 31st will be available in a couple of days. So this might change a little bit. So right now, this month, we've had 37,000 views which is a lot less than usual. I mean, I normally get around 50,000 in a month. Uh, 1100 watch time hours, I think this is decent. 62, minus 62 subscribers. So uh, I think early last month or was it, I can't remember when, I decided to stop doing the free game videos and I announced that I'll not be making any more of these. So a lot of people have been, you know, unsubscribing because of that because most people subscribed here for the free stuff. And since I'm not focusing on that, they don't have a reason to stay around. So that's why it'll be like this for a while. So 62 is not bad. And the revenue, this is the important part. So you can see here, um, previous two days processing. So they haven't yet processed the last two days. So I think this data uh, is probably not even for the 30th. If we see here, yeah, we have data for the 30th. So we won't have, this 962 is the number of views, by the way. Now the reason I'm not clicking on this tab is I'm not allowed to share certain things about the revenue. I can give you the estimated revenue, I can show you this part, but I can't give you um, the ad rates and the CTR, not the CTR, what's it called? Basically how much per video view I'm getting in terms of ad rates. So 53 is almost accurate for the month because we've only had one day left, we have only one day left and it won't change too much. So for 37,000 views, $53. This is almost you could say one and a half dollar for what a thousand views. Normally this is not as good. This is actually better than usual. Now a lot of things depend on this uh, ad rate thing. Depends where people are watching from. Obviously what type of ads are running at the start of the video or during the video and if people are watching them. If people skip the ad then YouTubers don't get anything. For example you have that five second to skip if you skip after the five seconds, we don't get a cut. And then, of course, there are things like uh, um, memberships, channel memberships, super chats. I haven't streamed here, and I don't think anybody's donated anything. So that's not included in these months. Um, memberships, there are quite a few members here. I have like 10, 12 members. So I get a small cut from there. Now, another thing I want to explain is this is what I get. Now, YouTube and the YouTuber, we have a split. YouTube keeps 45% and I get 55%. So what you're seeing here is this is my cut. This would have generated more, like more than $100, maybe almost $100. And then this is what is left for me. This might actually be exactly $100 after 31st gets processed. So YouTube keeps 45, I keep 55. But for the other things like super chat and uh, memberships I think it's 70 30 so 70 for the youtuber 30 for YouTube I believe that is how things work so you can see here if you rely on ad rates you're not getting anywhere you need to get a lot of views and you need to get people watching the ads because even if you get a lot of views and everybody is using ad blockers or something you are not going to make any money so if you rely on ad Ad revenue from YouTube things are not good I'll show you some of the other months as well so you can get an idea so this is October let's look at uh, September 
you can see here 39,000 views, almost 40,000, a little less, subscribers a lot less, but 51, so around the same. Let's look at August. Now August was a little quieter for me at the start because I had just moved here, I wasn't making any videos. In fact, let's see how many videos I made. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 2 here. So 12 videos in all of October. I got 55,000. Now I was making the free game videos here. So that's why the views are higher. And I got 160 subscribers mostly because of that. Fewer watch time, you can see here watch time is lower here. Recently you see the watch time is higher with fewer uh, views. And the ad rate is similar. In fact, ad rate is lower. For 56,000 roughly, I'm getting 60. If you see October, it's 37, but I'm getting 53. So making about the same, fewer views and more watch time, which is something I like here. Now, a lot of YouTubers, they don't rely on YouTube ad revenue for the income. Now, someone like me, I don't make enough to call this like a full-time job, full-time income. I couldn't support myself with the kind of money I make here. I do make um, some from other things like uh, the Humble Bundle. Now, Humble Bundle is, has been good for me um, depending on what sort of bundles I get. So if there is a month with like a very good bundle and a lot of people click and buy that, I often make more from Humble than YouTube if there is a good bundle. I don't make much with... Uh, the humble choice bundle but the other normal bundles they can be good for me um, apart from this uh, youtubers have patrons and memberships and stuff I'm not a big fan of that I have membership on my channel but I don't even mention it there have been a lot of good people who, who, who are supporting me for like years some members have been around for like two three years so I really appreciate them but I don't like that simply because somebody has to you know pay for something that is available for free so unless I can offer something more to the members, I don't feel like it's worth it. For the YouTuber, for myself, I don't like it. And the people who are supporting, it just feels wrong to me. That's why even with Patreon, I just don't see the point of it. Something like Humble definitely makes more sense to me because you're not paying anymore. You're buying your game at a discount, hopefully. And then because I'm affiliated, you're using my link, I get a small cut. I think that is the best case scenario. So I have several of these places that I use as affiliate. I have GOG, I have Humble, I have Fanatical, uh, Epic Games. But things are slower because most people buy games on Steam. Steam doesn't have an affiliate program. If they did, I would have made a lot of money. Steam doesn't have that. Other places, people don't buy enough. Epic Games, basically, people only buy when uh, they have that ten dollar thing so that doesn't work and other places they give you a five percent cut so you can imagine how much that would be so imagine if you were to buy like a sixty dollar game which again low budget gaming nobody does i don't do it i don't recommend you do it a five percent cut on a sixty dollar game so you can do the maths and see how little somebody would make let's say $10 game you buy a $10 game that's 50 cents so basically you need a lot of everything to make it work so someone like me I'm getting 37,000 views now imagine if I was getting 370,000 which is not too difficult if I'm honest if I focused if I had a bit more resources a bit more spare time I think it's doable I've had months where I've made uh, I've had like more than 250,000 views and that is possible then you could just simply 10x this and 500 something now then it becomes a decent amount 500 something and then you add the on top of money from affiliate links and stuff like that it just sort of goes exponentially so right now there'll be fewer people watching fewer people using the links fewer people seeing the ads but then when things go up with the views everything multiplies so it can be exponentially good now but there's one other problem here for someone like me I rely more on the external affiliate sites, but YouTube, Twitter, all these social media platforms, they don't like it when you send somebody away from their platform. So YouTube, for example, if I say a oh, great bundle on Humble, click on this link and you know, get it. So you have clicked on the link, you've gone away from the channel, from the YouTube, and YouTube does not like that. That is, I think, one of the reasons my channel suffers a lot because I sent people away from YouTube. Even when the free games were here, 
I'm telling people go and get the free game over there. Deals on uh, Steam or something. I put the links for 10 games on sale. People click on that and go, especially on mobile, it will be directly on the app. YouTube penalizes channels very hard for that. Really hard. Like you are ending the session. So somebody is uh, watching something, they watch your video and then they go away from YouTube. That is like suicide for the channel. And this is probably why my channel struggles to grow because I mostly cover stuff that involves sending people away from YouTube. So yeah, so it's, it's an interesting thing here. Um, external sites can help. Like if I send people uh, to YouTube from other places, it can be helpful. But again, not that much. And yeah, it's also all about views. A lot of views and then people watching your ads. That's how you can make money if you rely on the ad revenue, which I don't recommend you to uh, find other ways to make money on YouTube. So yeah, I want to give you a rough idea. And also the other thing, another thing that I forgot to mention is I'm in India and the ad rates for India are very low. So I would have to make a lot of views. I would have to get a lot of views on my channel to make any uh, significant amount of money. If I was getting views from some other places with better ad rates, let's say there are some exotic places where the ad rates are insanely high, I don't know, Brunei or Guatemala or something like that, where insane ad rates, then you wouldn't need that many views. Or even like some Western countries like US, Canada. US, Canada isn't that high. Uh, Scandinavia is pretty good. So if let's say a lot of people from Finland and Sweden were watching, I would get more for the same amount of views. So it's a lot difficult to figure out. Like uh, if you go to Social Blade, we can just compare here. So this is the channel what uh, Social Blade can estimate. So look at them. They're saying estimated between 9 and 145. 36. The, the views are accurate because that is available for them. So they're saying between 9 and 145. So they are right. I'm making between that. But it's so wide a range that it could be anything. They are right though. I'm not making less than 9 and I'm not making more than 145. So that is just something it's hard to predict because of the different uh, regions people are watching from. Now, sometimes occasionally I get spikes and I get a um, lot of views after the video has been published. So you can't really rely on ad revenue to make you money on YouTube. Hopefully that is useful for anyone that might be thinking about you know making money off YouTube. My recommendation is have a plan of making money from other sources now patron and stuff like that can work for certain type of channels not for me I don't think so there are some people who make very high quality edited videos and they need the patrons to support them in making and researching the videos those channels it makes sense I guess I've seen a lot of uh, other channels who offer like behind the scenes stuff sometimes they offer like videos in advance so that is all possible if somebody is making very high quality. But again, people with a lot of uh, subscribers, viewers, and a big fan following can try that and support themselves. But yeah, generally, YouTube is very competitive. You need to have multiple streams from not only your YouTube, but other social media as well. Um, affiliate links are good for someone like me. Patreon can be good. Merch and stuff, if you are like a big celebrity type, youtuber and people are willing to you know try out your merch then you could make some money from there but all of these places will have cuts with other people so like I said YouTube has a 45 percent split with me uh, if you buy merch from somewhere the person the people making the merchandise will have something there so affiliate tends to be good but you need to be you know covering stuff that people are interested in buying so because I keep my focus to games I recommend some decent sites for buying games and yeah over the years I would say perhaps I've made more from affiliate stuff than YouTube my guess is yeah probably a little more from all the affiliates combined than with YouTube I don't make much from a fanatical I don't make much from epic it's mostly humble and even then it's like not from the humble choice bundle it's the other bundles if they are good so some months there would be nothing and then some months there might be a really good bundle 
and I might get a little money from there. So yeah, if you are doing this for money, you need to either approach it as a business, have a clear plan, and have multiple revenue streams in mind and how you are going to monetize because if let's say there's another apocalypse then yeah ad revenue even the little bit you're getting might be gone they have a lot of issues with that so also where your audience is from where you live stuff like that so yeah it, it is complicated but I would say half a million views that is something you should target to get decent now again depending on where you live between a quarter of a million to a half a million if you can get that sort of views consistently every month then I think you can do well now there's one other thing that I did not mention is sponsorships so that if your channel gets big that is the main way a lot of channels make money sponsorships and that happens when you make uh, good videos and of course you have a lot of subscribers and you get a lot of views per video the sponsors have to see like you are getting at least 10,000 views per upload or 50,000 or whatever the requirement is and then you can make a lot of money like hundreds of dollars per sponsored video or something so that is how the bigger channels make money and they don't have to worry about you know all these other little things because if they're consistently getting sponsors then yeah you can do that I've not had many sponsorship offers and the ones I've had I did not like it so I did not take it for example you know the famous mobile game I got an offer for that a few months ago I refused I said no I'm not interested because of the monetization and stuff like that so yeah they give you good money but I just didn't feel like mostly because I don't cover mobile games here and also because of their very egregious monetization model the pay to win basically gambling stuff so I did not take that offer but yeah you can get good offers and make decent money once you get sponsorship so yeah make quality videos try to build up your audience views etc I would say subscribers don't matter too much these days it's uh, more important that you get views on your videos and you get consistent views on your videos. so if you upload and you get let's say a, a 10,000 per video then you're doing fine like for me I would probably get uh, on a good video at least a thousand views so if you see here this one had 2800 views this one only got 480 this one had 2700 3500 988 353 this one just did not do well 1353 465 so yeah it it's difficult because I'm in the sort of experimentation phase of my channel because I'm trying out different types of content and seeing what will work so it's easier to grow a channel if you stick to one niche one type of video and for one type of audience your channel will explode but until you find what that niche and what that type of video is and who your audience is it takes a little time so anyway I felt like chatting and discussing this sort of thing because people are often curious and they often ask me these things I've had a few people ask me like you know DMs and stuff and also people assume that youtubers make a lot of money um, this is the reality now of course like I said depends on where you are and what type of content you make gaming is very competitive and there's a lot of channels making it so it's a little difficult but again gaming also has a lot of people watching the content so yeah depends on your level anyway I think I've rambled long enough hopefully this was useful to someone and see you next time